Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.k.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is not this one. This is my traveller's notebook. This is my notebook that sits in my handbag, goes out and about and everywhere with me. This is not my diary. My diary is my, I only have a diary for work basis and that sits on my desk over the other side of the office and never leaves the house. But I do a lot of writing of notes, ideas, planning, when I'm out and about, um, you know, I, I have this with me and a traveller's notebook, if you haven't sort of come across them, they are, they've been around for a long time, um, but they're very popular at the moment because they're not huge, they're not massive and you can add as much as you want to them. So a traveller's notebook basically um, has elastics that hold as many notebooks as you want in place. So my particular one has got one, two, three, four elastics um, and I've got four notebooks in here as you can see and so people set them up in different ways people have them as a diary in one notebook family planning stuff activities and things in another one what have you so I have I have one here that's for my blog planning when I'm out and about or when I'm flopped on on the sofa I've got color combinations to go down there I've got start oh this is one of my new ones I've just got two new ones which has prompted this um things I want to do with my children we've got Easter holidays about to start so I will scribble down things I mean these are the jobs that the four boys are going to do and what have you throughout Easter but sometimes you want to might might want to carry extra things in it so I've got a little pocket insert here that I made and you can see why I chose this paper it's very similar to the outside of my notebook itself i'm not one for doing heavy decoration and stuff like that but i might want to put in if i've seen a swatch of something i might want to put that in there and this is what i'm going to show you the little insert that slips in and out easy peasy so but yeah if you're on if you have a traveler's notebook or you use one let me know in the comments because i would love to hear so yeah i just got i got a couple of new ones and i like the thinner ones i like to be able to go you know when i filled my my journal my notebook and this is just completely plain actually take it out and store it so you know when I filled it with notes of blog ideas I take them out so these don't have vast numbers of pages but whatever size you do get you can get them smaller than this you can get them bigger you can get them fatter you start by wrapping your paper so I know that I'm pretty much going to need 12 by 12 paper and you need a pencil pencil and a ruler what did I just do with my pencil oh it's here next to me and you start off Actually, you know what? I'm going to sit with the measurements. No, I can't see the top of that without headbutting the camera. I'm lining this up in the bottom corner. Oh, you can't see. Let me move that up. I'm lining it up in the bottom corner. Oh, let me get this where everybody can see and I can see. Bottom corner. Oh, I got my camera zoomed in too far or something. It's lined up at the bottom corner. And I'm going to mark on the top. There we go. You can see bottom and top now. And I'm just going to mark there because I'm going to be scoring there shortly with my pencil. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap my book. And I'm not what, but not worried about whether it's in the centre or not. I just want to get it wrapped first. So I'm going to line up my paper so it's lined up nicely. And gently press and then run another pencil mark down there. So this one here, I'm gonna cut because I only want this to be the same width as my, my book. So you grab your trimmer. I'm gonna line up that pencil mark in the center of this channel here. Cut that bit off, don't need it. This pencil mark, I first did, I'm going to score this one, I'm going to move my cutting blade and I'm going to score and just gently fold that up, so that's going to form the insert and then I'm going to fold it in half and now I did gently do that when I wrapped the book, I'm going to do it a little bit more firmly now. I don't want a sharp crease. Well, I've just wibbled that. This is what happens when you do it on camera. Um, I don't really want a sharp crease because it's going to wrap around a book, but I do want it to be obvious where the centre is. Now, with mine, I have quite a sharp 
line which would be cutting from there to there but you can cut from wherever you fancy so you might want to go that much down and have sort of a, a gap shall we do that let's mark that up let's mark it on both sides actually would be good yeah i reckon about there would be good so this is where i'm going to cut to being the center part and from there and i'm going to go straight through both layers at the same time let's move the scoring blade out of the way bring the cutting one in and now when i fold it it will be exactly the same on both sides easy peasy couple more things to do my notebooks have got corners on them, so I'm going to round up my corners. And the bottom. And this one. And then I do want to do here, because obviously these elastics do fit round, as you can see, but I want them to tuck in nicely. So you fold it in half around that corner so you can see the elastic's going to slip in nicely. This one, you're going through quite a lot of paper, four layers, so be prepared to push firmly. You need a good quality corner rounder. Our Stampin' Up! one is perfect for that. And that can go around one. Let's find another one to wrap around this one hello today and you literally there's my elastics <clears throat> slide it behind that one in front of there perfect and now I have a little place that I can put stuff in there if I was a, a major stickerer and needed to carry stickers with me on the go you could put those in there you could put washi you could just put things that have inspired you paper swatches um, I don't know, a ticket stub, something like that, in there, and at the back of that one, in there. Or you could swap it, and you could put it on the inside. But I thought that was really cool, easy way, easy peasy. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. And if you're a Traveller's Notebook fan and haven't come across me before, I don't really do planning stuff on video, because, you know, I just write in my planner. But I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you can shop with me. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye!